Hi, Jiga here from Mix Unlock. And since you've probably already read the title of the video, you most likely know what's coming next. Let's check out our mastering EQ. The Precision Series Mastering Equalizer is a 5-band, fully parametric dual-channel EQ. Despite being very similar to the GML8200 and the Sontek 432C designs, it's not a clone of either of those, but definitely inspired by those timeless units. It's built upon the same architecture, but reimagined a bit to implement digital control. For the cherry on top, we chose John Hardy 990C Plus Discrete Operational Amplifiers, or DOAs, for the summing circuit with separate power supply rails, to give the unit plenty of headroom and a fast, accurate and never aggressive character, even with heavy-handed boosts on multiple bands at once. If you've come as far as to make a session on Mix Analog, or found this video on YouTube, you most probably know what EQs are and what they do for a living, but still, let's look at this particular one's controls, just in case you've missed something. Starting on the top right, there is the processing mode toggle switch that lets you use the EQ in a standard left-right mode, or in the mid-side mode. Next to it is a global true relay bypass, and underneath, there used to be the controls link toggle, but that's been omitted some time after the graphic interface was already designed, so it's well just sitting there doing nothing. The controls are linked by default in stereo mode now, and unlinked in mid-side mode. There are 5 EQ bands per channel in total, and the gain knob does the same thing on all of them. The 10dB and 5dB switch decides the range of that gain knob, and the in-out switch enables or disables each band separately. The frequency selectors in the middle are stepped and decide the center frequency of each band in bell mode, or corner frequency for the high frequency shelf and low frequency shelf when the shape button of the LF band is all the way counterclockwise. The shape control is essentially the Q value of the filter, lower values mean broader shape, and higher values mean progressively narrower, sharper peaks. The HF or high frequency band is shelving shape only, but you can select between two transition slopes with 6 dB per octave or 12 dB per octave steepness. Ok, boring stuff done, let's check how it sounds. I'll try and sweeten one of the demo tracks available on Mix Unlock, No Device by Moika.
deep breath and close your eyes You know your home is in my arms I'll take a picture with my eyes only No device can see like the heart No device can see like the heart Be the poet creator of moments that change the rooting of your life You decide if your dreams have to fight Just be sure to rely on yourself Cause no device can see like the heart No device can see like the heart And that's it for today. As far as I'm concerned, the high-end analog EQs still have something to offer that makes them a preferable tool in a lot of cases. But you be the judge. Take the mastering EQ at Mix Analog for a test drive and decide for yourself. Have a great day and thanks for watching.